Okay, so as you are doing that and I'm setting up, I'm going to be uh, giving a small introduction to this. Anybody who's just joining us on YouTube, our apologies. It was tough finding a, a, a match here. Um, but we have Lord Raptor versus Andy from Cowboy Bebop. Um, once again, another seven hand size Andy match. And uh, we've kind of got a lot going on inside of this match already. So what uh, Andy wants to do is take and play... Uh, a ton of really awesome, really good, aggressive, good symboled cards, and then uh, be able to refresh his staging area pretty much whenever he wants. And then from there, you've got uh, Lord Raptor, who is playing the Flash Attack package, meaning that uh, attacks don't have enhanced steps. Normally, whenever you play universes, you uh, combine uh, playing enhances in order to increase or decrease the power of attacks on uh, both you and your opponent and then uh, a Lord Raptor kind of mitigates that from happening by having the word flash on all of his cool cards mm -hmm. so we're right now uh, it looks like so we're seeing another good Andy deck which has been looks like it's been the staple symbols for Andy uh, we're song styling here with some Scarlet Meteors. He brought back in. <laughs> he destroyed a Shadow of the Cowboy just, and then brought it back. So, ooh, we got some spiciness happening here. So we got a lot of things happening at this match so far. Uh... Let's see here. Cody playing the Raptor. He's got three cards in hand. We are sealing up the confronting Jada for this attack with the pure of heart. Ooh. Interesting. So Andy's just really trying to make some connection, make things connect here. That's what it looks like is the play. He's just trying to finish this match off. Because Raptor, the longer the game goes, the worse it the worse it is for you. For the player, yeah, because Raptor has an ability just to build up a critical mass where there's just nothing you can do, and they're just going to play a million flash attacks, and yeah. turning off a third of the game is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, um, part of the way that Raptor gets there is all of his flash attacks have the breaker keyword as per the static ability on his character, and so him blocking this meteor here is really, really solid. Um, because if there's another big play coming, another meteor, it'd be on a six, seven, eight. We check a three, commit our entire board. Um, even Andy can't really recover from that. All right. Ooh, the deflecting swing. I love that card. Uh, on a seven. Checks a six. Like any good player would. So deflecting swing is one of the cards that's been really is a good middle package card in the uh, Andy package we've been seeing. Uh, what it's been doing is it adds a face down and then you choose one of your other face downs that you may have and you pick it back up. So you're getting the plus one plus one from Andy on the response. Uh, the other thing that's happening here is Lord Raptor has a nailed it out. And every time now Andy has been responding with his responsibility, he is just going to four plus to try to ready his board back up so he can block stuff again. You can ready something, or I think there's another choice you have with... Uh, drawing a card. Uh, drawing a card, which both yeah. are great for Lord Raptor. Yeah. Sean, is the B in your last name capitalized? It is. Thank you for asking. No problem, man. It really messes up a lot of things. Like if I try to fill out any forms for the government, they're like apostrophe. No, sir. Absolutely not. <laughs> we don't have those <laughs> in our old school typewriters. <laughs> All right. So the effective thing, no block to the defecting, uh, deflect swing, and it's just coming in. Oh, but we got another one. <laughs> Five. Were there any Kuabaras today, by the way? There were zero Kuabaras. Um, an interesting choice, probably because of the fact that people were less afraid of, like, Goro existing in the format says that, like, not existing in the format means that characters like Kuwabara don't have to necessarily exist. We're allowed to play quote-unquote fun universes. We don't have to worry about stopping my opponent's big damage. But sitting here looking at Andy throw down a ton of damage on all this stuff. I mean, Committee Foundations also is not bad. Alright, so what is happening here? Yeah, what is happening? Top card of your deck face down. We're just playing this card wrong. 
Oh, he did it too quickly, and he's making them put it back because of Showtime. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. They're 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 resetting their board state. He show he was like, I'm gonna show stop. I'm showtiming that, and he had already started processing everything. Gotcha. So, like, he already pulled the card down the top, like pulled the card into his staging area, grabbed the card back to his hand, and they were like, um, put everything back. So, a beautiful video by Scott Sunman. Wait. 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 <laughs> Wait. Man, I love watching everything Painus pu puts out. Everything he does is hilarious. It's true, true. And sometimes it's a really good commentary of UFS in general. Like, there's ever something like, like it, it, it's all humor with him, but sometimes he's making like a really good social commentary of UFS and how we play the game. All right, we got the like Shredder coming in for the block. Fails the block. Fails, fails the block. To take another four. And we're going to try to finish this. Three, Ooh. four, three. He can like pass. He, he's passed. He tapped out. out. I mean, this, I mean, this kills him though, right? <laughs> this, 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 yeah, like he can only show time once, so he can't. Like, he's this getting is seven, plus a whole bunch of damage. 10, yeah. 11, 12, 13 damage. So plus 13 on my... uh. Spirit shotgun, so that is lethal. And the same yeah, no, four, sorry, five. Seven, eight, like, 10, 11, he could have another bear 13. bite. Sorry. It's it's he has a bear bite, he can block and still live, but that's I, a lot. We should have just blocked the deflection swing of the bear bite then. Yeah. Well, no, because he tried to block it with the leg shredder and failed. That's that's what I meant. No. My apologies. Sorry. We, we should have we should have blocked the deflection. I think we should have blocked the deflection swing with with the bear bite. If that is the case, breaker to yeah. him and say, "Hey, mm. you have to check perfect." Yeah. Just here we go. Let's, yeah, there's yeah, nothing. The low block. Nothing. Yeah. No low block. Going to get going to the next game. So pretty much, this is a match where if. The, the, so the situation here is Cody is currently at. Well, let me check the standings. Uh, uh, so Adam is at ten points, and Cody's at nine. So Adam winning block pretty much puts him at thirteen points. It w locks him into. I think it pretty much puts him in the safety number for top cuts uh, with the other ten pointers on win. But 12 points doesn't guarantee. A lot of things have to happen. Right. I uh, think uh, Cody would need a lot of things to go his way plus a win here in order to uh, make elimination, right? Yeah. 13 is the magic. 13 is the safety number right now. Like, because well, that, that's Ryan, what. Is Ryan done for the whole day? Like, he's just. I don't know. I, I don't know what their plan is. I, I feel in Tim Keith, that's their decision to make. Between two players, it's possible he's just burned out playing Terry all day. Like, that is not an easy deck to play on tabletop because you're going to be sitting there for like, especially if you don't get, if you you have to wait your wait and bide your time and then try to kill somebody. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've I've actually found I can't. I have a really hard time playing TTS at all with the universes. I don't know. Just for some reason, physical cards just got to be in my hand. I feel more comfortable with it, and I'm bad yeah. with technology too. So, <laughs> I do considering think it's the a, effort, it's a learned thing. Because um, when I when I first uh, started on TTS, it was very much uh, I I was very against it. Um, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. You know, we had to adapt. This is a this is how UFS adapted, and then that's fine. Like it's hey. not like. It's not Big like beer. Jasco. Jasco is fully endorsing it to have it here and available uh, to us. TTS doesn't care <laughs> as long as you can build it; they will let you do whatever. So, well, speak for yourself, Jesse. It just means for me, I won't play UFS until we have a vaccine. So, <laughs> I mean, there might be at some point we might need to just like Tim. Tim Keith keeps talking about playing some physical UFS, and so I might have to like. Me and Kevin might have to indulge him and get some, like, I have to put some new decks together physically and go play some games with it. Or, or just play some, play some games. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Yeah. All right. So we got Sense of Morals. Um, this Prophecy starts. Prophecy Emergency Ration. Wow, Ooh, that's, that's uh, going to be helpful here. 
So emergency ration is respond flip. After your opponent plays an ability on a non-character card, abilities on that card that share a name with that all, all abilities on that card are the ones share a name with it cannot be played for us turn. So what it can do is Well it says that it just loses the named keyword, so it forces all of the flash attacks into not flash. No, no, no. Right? This is the one that stops him from using nailed it over and over again. Oh, I'm looking at Ominous Prophecy. You're right. Yeah. Although yeah. Ominous Prophecy, absolutely fantastic. Because it actually takes away two keywords in our in uh, Raptor's deck. It takes away both Flash and Breaker. Yeah. I think uh, Cowboy Andy has a great board right now to try to defend against Lord Raptor. And honestly, Lord Raptor has a pretty poor board to be attacking like he is. Um yeah, that's just two foundations, and High Seas Adventure doesn't do anything for him on his own turn. Yeah, and High Seas is going to be gone next turn for sure because of uh, because of Andy playing so many potent attacks. He's just he's just gonna get rid of it. And so if if Raptor can't find any more great cards, this match might be over in the next ten minutes. The problem is, is there are two seven hand sizers bashing into each other? I think. Uh, this like this lead is the right plan. Just just keep trying to push, just push damage right now. That's all you want to do. Make him at like he can't play any enhances. He's just block or dot and block or, block or catch. So he's gonna take four. He's gonna then take should be two more off of the response. Yep, take two more. I mean that's uh twenty percent of his life total right there. Yeah. Yeah, leg, leg. Uh, this is the freaking stinging skull. That is one of the cards that, like, you just don't math right. You can, like, you have to full block it if you do block it, and if you don't full block it, you get both. They get both responses. Stunning. It sucks. Stunning. Leg shredder is like, uh, honestly, all of Lord Raptor's kit's so amazing inside of him. Yeah. Uh, for doing, whoa, what a card to commit. We committed the ominous prophecy. It's gonna get destroyed by Lord Raptor. Oh, do we have a reader? Do we just not know what Lord Raptor does? Huh. RTFC. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Dang. That, that because is... he could have done the remove activate prophecy during his turn. Uh, during Andy start of Andy's turn to remove flash from everything. Right. So that there, there's no breaker on his block. That could yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I would have committed the never a day without training, I think. Uh, I would have committed the sense of morals because I, I don't think clearing the top card of my deck is very good. And All right, we're at I, 10. I can't use the enhances on uh, it anyways. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Time to build. Sometimes when I play against Lord Raptor, and I don't know if you guys have experienced this, I start trying to think like it's a regular game of universes and it just isn't. <laughs> it certainly is not. No. <laughs> yeah. And to that point, like Lord Raptor feels um, like one of those great cards, great characters that you can give to a new player um, who's just fresh out of the game. One, because his entire kit works together, and two, because he's kind of playing this sub game where you get to like kind of ignore all the the words that say E colon on your opponent's cards. <laughs> Man, this card is going to hurt a lot. So. There is some loops that you can do, at least later on in the chain, whenever it comes to uh, to Andy um, and Deflection Swing. So you can build it down with Burning and uh, give it, it looks a plus like it got two, flashed, though. and then plus one, plus yeah. one, and then pick it back up with Deflection Swing. Play it again, play your next attack, build again for another plus two, plus one. Um, basically, inside of Andy, Burning with Revenge is throw it down. True. All right, so this is a so this is like an auto response. So it's gonna break her here. Why would he play the hidden laughter right there? That's um, a way, that's on a that's on a two, oh kill the breaker. That's kill yeah. the breaker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's on a four right now. So yeah, breaker. Three. Fails the check. He's, and he checks a three. I'm trying to figure out if he wishes to pass it or not. Um, I mean, I think I would just it. so I can play more gray cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's honestly no reason not to, but we need to hold low blocks. Um. Or we just keep attacking. No, that's that's not a bad. That's not a bad play. Six, seven, yeah, you need yeah. you need a seven there. Let's see if uh, Andy lives to fight another day here. Um, Being I'm at not ten, sure that he will actually. I mean, unless Raptor Bricky Bricks, it can happen. 
it's hard for Raptor to to true oh. brick. Oof. I think that that's a good of start. The healed. Yeah. Like he has to play one attack for to really bricky brick here. Right. All right. So we're yeah. There we go. He removes the shredders. Ready's back up. Those two. Throw some damage on this. Throw some damage on this, and now it's like. Start blocking, please. Yeah, and if we absolutely need to, we can uh, we can pitch our hand and pick up another Azuna drop, and then that is guaranteed game. Mm -hmm. I guess not. I okay. guess not guaranteed, right? It'd be off by two, but we right. pick up. Why? Uh, so why hasn't he Raptor to destroy something yet? Okay, I'm like that's a wonder. Right now. Okay, I'm taking there. the time. Yeah. Uh, I am not sure. I mean, Lord that Adam it. has played against Lord Raptor before. There's a lot of reading of Lord Raptor's cards. That's after. true. Or if not, he's not too familiar with it. If that's if that's fair. That, that's the thing. Like, if you don't have a play, if you're a small play group, and none of your guys are playing this char a character or have played the character, you'll show up to majors and be like, "Why is everybody playing this character?" And you're just completely, uh, um, you know, caught caught in this unaware situation. Lord Raptor is one of those characters where it's like, "Ooh, Ooh. hit the break the uh, it passes. Oh, no. Passes. But does the breaker even do enough here, though? No, I don't believe so. There's probably a bear bite in uh, in the hand, so it's going to be on, like, a six. And we have to discard a momentum. One, oh. two, three, four. Three, four. Discard and a momentum. Then... And then bear bite out of five. five. Three... Four, five, wrapped her up. This is not lethal. No, it's only coming in. It's printed For three five. damage. Yeah. It's to five. Does Cowboy Andy have another breaker block that he can he, pass? If he does, uh, he can check a five and uh, with another uh, with another Nutcracker. Opt to go for speed. We have another bear's bite in hand, is what's going on. Yeah, because we that's my guess. And give it another two damage, a bear bite or a leg shredder. Yeah. Um, but if we have just, the, yeah, he has to have a bear bite or a leg shredder here to back this up. Going back to your point on uh, small play groups and not knowing what's going on, I think that's like um, where it's kind of your job to look at content creators and see what it is that they're playing. Thanks. Oh, that sucks. Wowzers. Oh, did he fail it? He, he failed, failed this. It. Yeah. Um, to look at content creators and see what it is that they're playing in mm -hmm. order to uh, like figure out how the meta is going to work, especially in a small game, small community-based game like Universes. Well, I know there have been times that I've watched uh, you know, TCG playing, TCG University playing cards that frankly i've never even seen or even thought about playing before and it's giving me ideas of other decks i can build so you know your campus universities are a great thing to check out especially you know if you're wanting to see characters that aren't necessarily the mainstream that's true not just like, i love watching bag. those those are my those are my tuesday they're like my oh it's four <laughs> o'clock on a tuesday i'm off of work right, i'll put the stream on and while i'm doing my you know, relaxing after work and I'll have my, I'll be doing some games. It's a great background. And then there's sometimes there's one match I want to see. I'm like, oh, what did they come up with this character for? So. Well, thanks guys. Definitely don't watch the Wednesday show though on Rochester CCG. <laughs> Those guys are a bunch of washed up has -beens. I was about to give you guys a ton of credit. I love watching your guys' show. There's, there's plenty of ideas and thoughts that happen uh, um, that definitely click my, my light bulb for sure. Mm. Well, I like that I mean, we, we offer two different things, and that's the best part. We're offering yeah. the news of the week. Sometimes we're talking about our input on events happening. And also, we're playing board games sometimes and trying something new. So, oof. What? I mean, we had to bring Tim Keefe in just because I'm incompetent at UBS. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not a washed up has been. I'm a grizzled old vet. That's right. That's, that's, that's all I that am. you never were. Yep. <laughs> I think I need I, I think I definitely need to eventually assemble the team the team at some point of the just the grizzle of rats. It's like me, Mark Wisniewski, and 
somebody i just like just like find that like team of like no cardboard of any type but should be on cardboard drag Yari out of retirement oh yeah yes yes <laughs> um we've got a, a meteor coming in hot no blindfold though um getting a ton of minus speed one of the one of the awesome parts about feels good to be bad um it uh gets to give minus speed and playable while committed all by just getting rid of the attacks you've already used out of your discard pile. And so we have another attack in hand. I don't I don't see how we don't have another attack because we could have just healed by shaman and picked one up for the breaker block. Um And also you keep one up for the already you keep one up for the ready. Right. Which is also solid to have available to you. All right, he's got the man. He's just gonna stop the. He, he doesn't have the loop. If he didn't, if he had the loop, this game's over. But he doesn't, so this is now just don't die. Well, I mean, well, we have five foundations as Andy. It is very possible that if we have a second Scarlet Meteor, because we built in a. Um, Forbidden technique. Ooh. Ooh. Deliverance. Easy peasy. Oh, that's nice. Kind of that's a nice reduction. Right? We re removed the attacks just to deliverance, huh? Seems like I mean it could have been a could have been a play to try to get the Cowboy Andy player to devote more resources to the Scarlet Meteor. That's yeah. true. Alright, here comes the, the the nut. Gonna crack some nuts here. Uh, it is a bit of a dangerous game though because of how emergency rations works. As soon as uh, we play one of these feels good to be bads, we could just you know stop the other one from existing. So now we we only have the minus uh, the minus whatever mm -hmm. minus two instead of minus four, which might be mm -hmm. what is needed. Now, did you guys know that Nutcracker is the most expensive card in Standard right now? Yeah. Yeah, it has all the reason to be. All right, so we're going to get some buffs here. Only does here. everything. Buffs are going to happen off of, we're going to get plus two damage uh, from the foundation being brought down. We're going to get another speed, plus another speed and damage <laughs> from Andy. So it's only minus two speed from printed, but it's got a lot of damage on it right now. And I think we're emergency rationing. Yeah. Yep, the nailed it. So that uh, we yeah. don't either keep readying cards or drawing cards. Ooh. We're we responding with soup tech uh, in order to pick up a different card. Um, probably a uh, skull for an easy low block. Easy yeah. low block breaker two. That makes sense to me. That's yeah. That's the most sensible card here. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait. No, I think he he was trying wrong. to search and it wasn't searching, I think. Gotcha. Well, I think the superior technique's in the wrong pile now, isn't it? No, he has one. There's one in there. He oh, checked okay. the superior technique on a superior, superior technique. technique. Gotcha. You love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> If we were playing an action storm count, we would be grabbing that pack and just like keep responding to it. I'm like, I'll respond to that again. <laughs> but we don't do that here. All right, so we picked up the, the stinger. He's got the easy breaker two here. So now it's pretty much telegraphed what the plan is. Yeah, I think uh, what Cowboy Andy needs right now is after this block, maybe like a hidden laughter to get rid of the breaker. Mm hmm. And then play an attack. The thing is, he, Raptor's still at thirteen. That's a that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Also, if he plays another attack, he's got healed by a shaman to go. All grab right, another break. Grab another block on the right zone, which can, which he has r r many available for. And we have another minus four speed, right? Yeah. Um, depending on, I mean, if we keep blowing through our. Uh, Keep blowing through our uh, flash tags in our discard pile. This is gonna not be good here very quickly. Yeah. So we have a very, very slow, very, very big kick. It's punch. 
It's a punch. Oh, it's a punch. And a slam. And a charge. I mean, I, I guess when I try to crack people's nuts, I usually use is a, is a kick. So that's why I got a little confused. I'm sorry. You can't do the splits. No, I cannot. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I could do a split. Damn, one. I'm just not getting up. I do one yeah. split. <laughs> one split. <laughs> and then we're calling an ambulance. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, commit one. That feels really good. Now this now since morals doesn't count as progressive. And then deflect his way. Dang, dang. Yeah, but he's mm. commit some foundations for that. Yes. <laughs> Many, many foundations. That is okay. We get to build one back, give another plus one, plus one. And we get to uh, see if the heal is coming out. Uh, I don't think we have any... Um, I don't think we have any leg shredders in the discard pile, or else we would have uh, probably grabbed it already, huh? Opt in to go ahead and discard. Oh, yeah. Well, we oh, yeah. For sure, no. get rid of two non-blocks. Yeah, that's fine. We'll dump two down blocks, pick up the, pick up hopefully a shredder. I don't think we have one in our disco pile, so we would have probably mm -hmm. played it. I'm probably going to grab a bear's, one of the two bear bites. Yeah, just for a zero. Them. Well, I almost wonder, you know, in this situation, you pick up a good flash attack and then you just decline to block. Like, that's not enough to threaten. And you get to choose a flash attack to have in your hand at the start of next turn. Because there's not going to be much more for Cowboy Andy to do after this deflection swing, I don't think. Well, if we don't block, because Deflection Swing gets to build one down and then pick one back up, and we have a shotgun in our hand, we uh, it's going to be harder to block the shotgun than it is to block the Deflection Swing. True. I guess I guess it is the same difficulty, um, but I'd much rather half block the Deflection Swing and say that you're not allowed to play your shotgun than be forced to make the make the Deflection Swing happen. He did have a high block, but opted to um, just go for the zero mid block to guarantee his block happening. Three, four, five, six. Checks a five here. Ooh, I think Ouch. we have to let this fail. But this does telegraph that we don't have a have the shotgun because building the sense of morals down does not feel great unless we're trying to get the plus ones off of Andy which is fine yeah I guess the plus ones off of Andy is the same as sense of morals existing in the card pool and still getting plus one so yeah that is that is a fine play plus the extra draw we might be trying to fish does anybody know by chance what the time in the round is oh there it is 30 minutes yeah, yeah. we have been playing for approximately 30 So coming back to Sean's idea, Jesse, do you block this or no? Uh, I mean, blocking it and puts them pretty much in. You have to play a found another. You have to play another sense of morals or or a hidden laughter, and then try to play another attack to to kill him. Like I don't know if you could put like you're playing a uh, seven, eight, nine. You're playing at a ten with break your first shotgun. Yeah, that's. That's a little tough. <laughs> that well, he's not because he's only got nine foundations or nine foundations there. So it's like, hmm. all right. So there's the block. Take a little breaker. damage here, breaker. Now the crazy thing is, is I think we have enough foundations. We have enough of everything. If there is a shotgun with the breaker, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, if we check a five here. We we still we still kill him. Hey, That's close. Just check a six instead. Wowzers, what a good player. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> seems kind of good, right? Seems kind of good. So that's going to that get plus is... a bunch of damage. Plus social damage. So, and he has no cards in hand. That, that, this is it. Yeah, it's plus seven damage. See, I wouldn't Not have blocked. Really. This is why I wouldn't have blocked. Wouldn't have mattered. Fair point. Fair point. Sean O'Brien coming in clutch. And, and, there it was. The, table, and the table's been killed. <laughs> All right. Congratulations <laughs> to Adam for winning uh, winning the round. We'll see him in tops. Oh, yeah. We have 30.